literally the best longest trip I've ever done in my life. Here I will show you a lot of places that I've visited in Australia. Guys, so I'm very excited to share this vlog to you guys because I think this is the first time that we go on a holiday for like two weeks. Before our holiday is just like two or three days and this is a totally different continent which is Australia. If you ever want to go to Australia, you need to apply a visa for a tourism. I will not uncover that fact in this video but you can totally check their website for all the requirements. So after you're done with applying your visa and they accepted it, you can totally book a flight and book a hotel I think if you ever need it but in this case I will be staying at my family's house oh yeah and also try to minimize your bag otherwise they will happily charge you with extra dollars a little tips about packing bags from me because um, I have a poor memories I decided to list everything essential and not in this application called reminder every time you finish including the things you can just press the button for the checklist another thing you can enjoy from the trip is the airport A lot of footage of walking just because the gate is too far away. But don't worry guys, we have this walking elevator. Me personally, I love to go to toilet before boarding flight. Are you asking why? Because I don't like airplanes toilet. It's a personal preference, okay? So we actually board the aircraft in 8.50 p.m. I think. And oops, I forgot to tell you that today we're flying with Qantas. I will rate this flight with 9 out of 10. Flight attendants are very nice and good and helpful. Flight entertainment is very good. I watch Harry Potter, I watch Venom, and the meal course is fantastic. Oh, hold on. It's Sydney outside, guys! So we have finally arrived in after 6 hours of flight to Kingsford Smith Airport in Sydney. And the local time is about 6 a.m. today. After that, we are so busy with all immigrations. And after that, picking up our all six luggages, one, two, three, four, and etc. And here we go. She's got no clue. I've been alone, wasting away in my room. And you're after glue. She's laughing like you used to. Guess I still got jokes. Might take her home in a strange. Cause I think that I like getting over you. We used to wait. First thing we do in Australia is we would go to a shopping center. So we buy a slippers and later on I bought a king coat that you will see in this video later. We also visit a supermarket there and just throw me one freely. There are so many kind of foods that I want to try but I just don't know which one to try so I never actually decide to buy anything. And this delicious pizza as our dinner is served by my auntie. This is me getting a slice of uh, the pizza and just turn around to eat while watching the television. I believe it's a Netflix show. Fast forward to the next day, so we went out on the street in Padstow. The sky in Sydney today is very clear and very bluish. And we stopped by the near local shop to shop for this Opal card. This is like a transportation card if you want to use train. And then we headed to the nearest train station.
Our first stop of the day is Australian Museum. It's a free destination, so feel free to check it out. You can even take on the map. There are so many things that you can see in the museum. There are Australians' native cultural life and also a variety of animals, like this crocodile over here. This one is very fascinating to see in real life. The betrayal of the predator and the prey is just wow. Also, my inner child is screaming because I get to see all these prehistoric creatures. After that, we take on a stroll to Elizabeth Street. The vibes that Sydney gives is really different from my country. So I just took a bunch of photos just by walking on this side of the street. So from inside the train, you can literally see the infamous Harbour Bridge and Opera House. Trust me guys, it looks very pretty in real life. Next, we're stopping by in the town hall because we want to visit the Darling Harbour. So it's like a winter season in Sydney when I come to visit and we don't have snow here but it's cold compared to where I come from. So our family decided to just take a stroll around while searching for a great restaurant and also matches my parents' fun. We were walking very great distance and then we find this great restaurant by Indonesian cousin. I rate 8 out of 10 for the food. So we continue walking to go to Darwin Harbour. This is also the infamous spot to take photos in Sydney. After we're done taking photos and then we cross this called Petermont Bridge. I think it connects between the main city and the suburbs. The light of the sun going down really lights up the environment and it's really pretty. Then after that, we're taking the train to go home again because it's already noon to evening. And I was told that in Sydney, everything closed pretty early except for the nightlife, but I don't do nightlife. But you can totally search it on Google if you want to find the place. Good morning everyone, it's day 3. Today's look is more like a university or high schooler's outfit. It looks very pink, very cute, very pastel. I like it so much. So today we're going to take the tram to go into the circle or quai because we're going to visit the hottest spot and the infamous place in Australia. Today is bright and sunny like yesterday. I gotta say to you guys, I really enjoy the view from the inside the tram. The color tone is very artistic and the building is just chef-kiss. Also, I want to tell you that I'm not just going to reside in Sydney for this whole two weeks. I'm also going to be visiting Melbourne, I think, a few days after this. So please stay tuned for the vlog. So not long after that, we have arrived in Harbour Bridge. This place is very crowded and full of another tourists. And this is what I like about Australia. It's just very bright and sunny, it doesn't rain. It's a nice weather to just go outside and explore the country. After that, we enter the park and buy some hot chocolate. I have to tell you that this is the most favorite part in this holiday for me. I've always wanted to try out to picnic in the grass in the park like this, especially in Australia because a lot of people do and they post it on Instagram. It is very exciting when I try it for the first time and I took a bunch of photos in it. We ended up having lunch in here and after that, I take more stroll around inside the park. This gives up very nice vibes and I do really enjoy seeing this view in here and also it really lifted up my mood. Me and my dad decided to go to the toilet which is located in another side end of the road and I ended up looking at everyone cozying around the park. Just very very lovable moment. We also visit the opera house up close. I didn't get in and I didn't know whether you can get in or not but I just took a bunch of photos around a bit. We thought that while we're in Sydney, it's better for us to do a little survey about diversity and college around here. Just in case in the future we want to study abroad, so this is University of Technology Sydney. 
And also, I heard that University of Sydney is the number one university in Sydney. When I first come visit, I was pretty surprised with how old and magnificent the building is. It looks real, like like an old castle, and I really love it. I personally really like the environment and the air and the vibes it gives off. The big green field in the center of the building just makes it more, much more lovable moment to see. And also for this tourist, it's a really good place to take a picture of and just try to make a moment inside of it. Kind of reminder not to come when the students are still studying inside the building. Okay, so this is the end of this one vlog and please stay tuned for the next vlogs as well. Bye!